The last time the Toronto Maple Leafs played the St. Louis Blues, it was that back and forth affair that ended in a Leafs win. I believe it was an overtime or a shootout. Tonight's game, though, not so good. Leafs lose 6-3 to the St. Louis Blues and drop to 32-13-3 on the season. The story of this game was the lack of defensibility, for the most part, from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Jack Campbell not making the big stops and not starting on time. And it just felt like all night long, the Leafs were just trying to play catch up. It's just when it felt like right from the get-go because less than three minutes into the first period, they get the shot on goal. Jack Campbell makes a save of the blocker and steers it to more or less the circle. Problem. Butchnevich is right there. And he bats it right to the tape of him and he buries it in the empty net. And it's like, Jack, I understand you clear the puck away, but the rebound was horrendous. And he's doing it right to a guy. It's not a, not a great play by Soupy whatsoever, and he buries it into the empty cage. Less than three minutes into this one, you're down one nothing. Then Costin scores. Costin, I, I can't pronounce the damn guy's name. But this play, I believe it was this one, was Jake Buzzin. I'm not really sure what he was doing. I believe they were coming down on a rush. And they had the puck coming in on the far left side. Morgan Riley's going to his man who has the puck. But Jake Muzzin starts floating over there as well. And I'm thinking, what the hell? Why does, why? Riley doesn't need the help over there. Why are you floating over to him? And they just pass it over to this guy, Costin. And he just, he has plenty of time because Muzzin's trying to scramble back to the guy. Can't do it. And he beats Jack Campbell. So I'm not really sure what was going on there. And now you're down 2 nothing. 11.40 into the first period, and they got to find a way to crawl back against a guy in Billy Husso who has been absolutely outstanding over his last, like, 10 starts. But leave it up to Willie Nyland. Because he buries one. And I'm not even going to go into detail about these goals because it's just, and I love talking about my boy Willie Nylander scoring goals, but kind of sucks, man. You know, Willie Nylander coming off the rush and taking a, it, it, he would usually see the leg come up when you're taking a wrist or he didn't really move much of his body except for the, the, the puck on the stick and he rips it past Billy who's so far side bottom bottom shelf uh, bl low blocker I believe and it's now 2-1 game Tavares and Kerfoot grab assist at 15-33 and it's a 2-1 hockey game after 20 minutes of play shots on goal 12-9 in favor of St. Louis in the period we go to the second and 5-30 in Willie Nylander buries another one. This time reminded me a lot of Morgan Riley in the last game. Just absolutely rips it bar and in past Ville Uso. Kerfoot and Hall grab assist of the goal at 530. And they were tied at two. But it didn't take long. Literally 29 seconds. For Brain Chin to get the initial shot, Jack Campbell makes the incredible save. And while he's falling down, Brain Chen bangs home the rebound. And 29 seconds after you tied the game, you give the lead, you give it back up again, and now you're down 3-2. But later in the period, under three to play. Puck gets back to the point to TJ Brody. He's got plenty of time to kind of walk right in, and he walks into a slap shot. And I don't know, it might have been a brilliant screen in front from Ilya Mikheyev, who's crossing in front of the net in front of Billy Huso, because it was a low shot and really should be stopped. But it beats Billy Huso. And TJ Brody's got the goal. Kasha and Camp grab assists at 17.44 in the second period. And hey, we're tied at three going into the third period. Shots are 12 apiece in the uh, in the second. And the boys are looking to go in the third and get it done. Well, no. They don't get it done. They get outshot 16 to 10. And Brendan Sod scores under five minutes in. Then Ryan O'Reilly scores with under 10 to go with, 10, what, 10.50 in. So about 9.10 to go. No. Yes, 9-10 to go in the game. And then you're down 5-3, and everyone's like, well, that, there goes that chance. And then Pavel Buchnevich scores a 16-43 to get the empty netter because they pulled the goalie early to try and get two goals, but that didn't work. And you lose 5-3, 6-3 with an empty netter. Not fun to see the team come back twice from a 2-0 deficit to go 2-2 
but then to give up the lead right after to make it 3-2, then you score late in the period to make it a 3-3 hockey game where you really haven't been playing your best, and then you get throttled in the third period and you lose by you lose 6-3. Jack Campbell, not the greatest night. He made some big time stops like the Brayden Shen. Yeah, it counts as a goal, but the first save on that on that cross seam pass was beautiful. And I can't really blame Jack too much for a few of these goals. But as I've said countless times before, we've seen countless times before. Great goalies find ways to make saves. Even their team is desperate for them. You know, I mean, for great examples or guys, I mean, I'm not comparing Campbell to these guys, but I'm just saying, you know, people are comparing to Jack Campbell. Oh, he's going to get paid. He's the number one goalie, this and that. Carey Price. He carried that team to the cup finals. You know, all these players, Matt Murray, his time in Pittsburgh, you're phenomenal winning back-to-back -back cups. That obviously helps me have a good team in front of you, but having the goalies make big saves in big moments is massive. Now, the Leafs have not gotten that a lot lately. Jack was great in the last game. He's been great in the last two games. Tonight, not so much. Now, the decor did not help him out whatsoever. 37 shots against, of quite a few of those of high-grade difficulty. He didn't make some big-time saves. But, again, I think it's a team as good as the St. Louis Blues are. You cannot give them that many glorious chances. You cannot have that many monumental breakdowns on defense and expect to win. Good teams like that will bury you for mistakes. And they did tonight. And that was, a, that was an example of that this evening. Shots and goal in the game were 37-34 in favor of St. Louis, 16-10 in the third period. Special teams were a no-show for both teams. Both teams only had the one power play each. Neither team scored and no shorties. As both teams going into the game actually were tied for second in the NHL in short-handed goals. So none of that happened. And it breaks did David Camp's what? Short-handed goal streak, unfortunately. But yeah, it is what it is. I could care less. You know, I, we want wins and we didn't get it tonight. Jack Campbell, five goals on 33 shots. No, sorry, the Leafs won in shots, 37-34. Uh, okay, all those numbers I said, 12-9 in shots in the first period, that was for St. Louis. We were 16-10 in the third period, yet they outscored us 3-0. So there you go, shots on goal were 37-34 in favor of the Leafs. Willie Nylander has, what, breaks his eight-game goalish streak, scores two tonight. Alex Kerfoot continues to put a great season together with two assists. But i got to be honest, where's John Tavares been? I feel like we haven't seen this guy on the score sheet in quite a while. Maybe an assist here, an assist there. He had, he had an assist tonight. But where's that? You remember a couple years ago, like I was a 45-goal scorer. I'm pushing 50, you know, even a consistent 30-goal guy. He's just, lately, he has not been fine in the back of that. Well, whether that's puck luck or just not shooting the puck much or getting the opportunities or he's just not been playing well enough. I don't know what it is. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments because the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs has not been able to bury anything lately. The, 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 obviously, the theme has been that second line of Nylander and Tavares haven't scored. But now Nylander potted two tonight. So that, that narrative's kind of gone. Tavares is still hanging around, though. He's got to find a way to break the schneid. All right? Now, if there's any team to break the schneid against, it's your next opponent, the Montreal Canadiens in Montreal. Now, I will tell Leaf fans this before I wrap this up. You see the records of both teams, and you will, you know, you'll see the odds that the Leafs should absolutely slaughter the Habs. But if you know and you are a Leafs fan, and if you are if you are a Habs fan, oh, Nick Ritchie just got sent to Arizona. We got Ryan Dezingle and a defenseman for Nick. I gotta look into that more. But anyways, anyways, I'm totally off now. We're back. Montreal. No matter what teams are on the ice. No matter what players are on the ice, it's going to be a hard-fought battle both ways. Monday night, the Leafs are in Montreal, taking on the Canadians at 7 p.m. Let's see what happens, all right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the game, 
Uh, he actually didn't enjoy the game this evening because uh, not many people did. Other, other than St. Louis fans, smack the like button. Do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. If you not already, comment down below. Thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game. Would you like? Would you not like from today's game day for the Toronto Maple Leafs? The, Insta uh, the Twitter link is down below. So follow up. Send me a DM. Do that great stuff. The Instagram link is also down below. So follow up there if you guys have not done so already. And I will talk to you guys. A rapidition. Not till next Friday. So well, I'm what six days away. Still forever. As they, uh, the Raptors are in Charlotte, I believe, taking on the Hornets, 7, 7.30 tip-off there, maybe even 8 o'clock, I can't remember. And that's the Toronto Maple Leafs. I could be talking to you very shortly, trade edition, because the Leafs just dealt Nick Ritchie. But uh, either way, game-wise, I'll be talking to you guys on Monday as the Leafs are in Montreal taking on the Canadiens. 7 p.m. puck drop there. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you guys then.